So I figured I would go full disclosure. Hopefully you've seen the video about the piping around the foundation and then the video about the infiltration pit itself, which is where all the rock is at. Piping is over here, I pit's over there. What was here was a catch basin. This catch basin was acceptable in Kitsap County and Mason County. And I assume the inspector would accept it as is, even though it didn't meet the plan exactly, as I discussed in a previous video. He did not find it acceptable. So he failed the inspection. He allowed me to cover the infiltration system, but referred to the drawing and said I needed to install the catch basin according to the drawing. Which means we had to go spend a whole bunch of extra money. For example, that black basin that you saw me tear out of here, that's 66 bucks. The 26 inch sono tube, or it's not sono tube, 26 inch uh, riser tube you would see on top of the septic tank, plus two lids was 360 bucks. And that's what I have to install in here. So I have to have a four foot deep hole with a lid on one side. I guess you could use a concrete pour, just kind of a concrete base and, and stick it in the concrete. That could be your base. But in my case, I'm gonna use a lid, put the tube in the ground, attach the pipes through the sides of it at the per the drawing and then have the lid sticking a certain distance out of the ground per the drawing. We're gonna get that all installed here and uh, call for a reinspection. All right, because I'm lazy and I don't like pouring concrete, which <laughs> for a totally different random reason, I actually happen to have two bags of concrete, which would probably be enough, but that's not the issue. We're going to put a lid on one side of this and it's gonna be the bottom. And we're gonna drive these down to attach the bottom to the top. So now we've just created a really large sump tank. That bottom is the top. So this thing is four feet tall for the drawing, and we're gonna we're gonna go over there and get it in the hole. So we've got our inlet pipe coming from the pipe around the foundation and we used the 2x4 we figured out where the hole's got to be inside of this thing. So the uh, my little mark there is the top of the hole. We've got an inch and a quarter hole saw, inch and a quarter which is exactly the right size for the 4 inch pipe to slide through. So we're going to get this thing lined up, hoping that I put the bit in there long enough to make the hole now. Looks like it is. Jesus Christ. So we just finished drilling that hole. Uh, because the pipe inlet and outlet have to be the exact distance up and down, I'm just going to spin this thing 180 and drill another hole and we'll have both our holes drilled. Alright, so now we've got our other hole drilled. So our inlet pipe just comes straight into the tank. We got a couple of pieces of pipe and a couple of couplings, so we're going to primer this stuff up and get it glued up. The reason I'm using two couplings, we uh, we had a, some scrap pipe left over, it wasn't quite long enough, so it was cheaper to buy a new coupling than it was to buy, buy a 10 foot stick of pipe. We're sticking into the tank about three and a half, four inches, which is perfect. So that is the inlet, and uh, there's a dimension specified on the drawing that it has to be five feet minimum away from the house. So. Because the eye pit is over there, or infiltration pit is over there, we need it to be exactly five feet, which it is. So.
All right, we've got to cut the mesh for the top of the uh, discharge into the infiltration pit. Uh, the drawing calls out for fine mesh on the bottom and then one inch mesh on the top, which it, it's what the engineer drawing calls for. So that's what we're gonna do. It's just ridiculous, but whatever. So we've got, uh, what is this? Uh, three feet by five feet of 23 gauge wire galvanized for durability, quarter inch square mesh openings. So fine mesh and then we have a two by 10 perfect for chicken coops this is the one inch stuff so we're going to uh, get this opened up here and get it cut and kind of shaped to support what we're doing so this is that mesh and we basically only need a tiny little bit of it so we're gonna a sacrificial well not this is a drain adapter but we're going to use it to figure out the size we need which seems to be about that size there and, uh, so our one inch mesh will get squished over the top of this and held on with a hose clamp kind of like that now that I've got that kind of shaped, I'm going to trim it down a little bit more. I'll put that in the hole and wire it down, but that's what it looks like. Now we need to make a one inch fine mesh one that's going to go on the bottom. Alright, so we've got our two different meshes. Need to get the tank opened up and install them. We've got to put a hose clamp on. A piece of pipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to size it up here, get it a little bit closer so that I don't have as much of a problem down there. Okay. Right. Now we put our one inch on, so that's the quarter. This is the one inch stuff. All right. Meshes are installed. Now we've got to band this pipe here and here to the outside of this tank. All right, so I'd like to point out that I am very aware that this banding and this banding is absolutely not necessary and is beyond ridiculous, but it is called out on the drawing. So we've got it there. This is sort of a very similar setup to how a septic tank would be set up, which is way overkill for this application, but we've got to do it anyway because that's what the drawing calls out. So we've got our one inch mesh, our one inch mesh, our down pipe is one foot below the outlet of the T. We have at least one foot between the bottom of the pipe and the bottom of the tank, so this tank is four feet tall. Our inlet has no obstructions. It sticks in at least one inch. We are actually about four. We've got a small riser off the top to get us close to the top. We have a sealable lid, which we're gonna put back on now and be done. All right, well, this is gonna wrap up the catch basin install for the waste water wastewater runoff from the gutters on the house. We have solid piping, not drain tile installed around the foundation on the house. That pipe then ties into this catch basin, unimpeded, so the pipe dumps directly into this. And then there's a T assembly inside of here with mesh on each side, different size mesh that goes into the infiltration pit or the eye pit, or it's, it's more like a drain field, but uh, sometimes they're referred to as French drains or absorption pits or there's a whole bunch of different terminology depending on where you're out in the country. In any case, this is all about the catch basin. And I, I did, I failed the inspection at the beginning because I didn't pay attention to the drawing because I thought the way I'd done it in different counties would work here, and it didn't. They failed me. In fact, it's really overkill for this application, but 
what are you going to do? I guess that's the cost of building. I'm about $450 into building this catch basin all in and of itself, but uh, definitely check out the other links about the drain tile, excuse me, the piping around the foundation and then the infiltration pit. That'll make more sense as to why this is here and what it's for. When you're building one of these, it's really important to pay attention to the very, very specific specifications for the heights of the pipes when they come in, how big the chamber has to be, the mesh sizes on each end. All those things are really important. They should all be in the drawing that you get for your for your infiltration system. Um, overall, it went really well. I'd never done one like this before, but uh, it was pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty simple. In any case, I hope you guys got a lot out of this one. I think there's a lot of good, useful information to, to gleam from this one. If you guys wouldn't mind checking out some of these other links, I'll have the house series for this house here, my garage series of videos, the tractor series. Definitely hit that subscribe button. It always helps me out in the long run. Until next time, thanks for watching.